Putin sends signals of willingness to freeze war, New York Times. Ukrainska Pravda Russian President Vladimir Putin has been sending signals through intermediaries since at least Sept. Ember that he is ready to agree to a ceasefire in the war of aggression against Ukraine, which would include freezing hostilities on the current contact line. Below are your comments. Putin came from the Soviet-era KGB and as such, everything he does should be viewed with caution. Personally, I think Putin only wants a pause so Russia can regroup, beef up their front lines and re pair damaged equipment, manufacturer ammunition, etc. Once Russia stocks back up, it will start all. Rule number one, believe nothing that Putin ever says. Second, it is not necessary to negotiate a ceasefire, simply have all Russian forces leave all Ukrainian territory, including Crimea. Then the negotiation as to how to repair Ukraine can begin. Inflation is heating up in Russia. Ukraine is building out its domestic arms industry. $300 billion of Russian assets are about to be seized by the West. Heck even Germany is talking increasing military spending. Ukraine will have air dominance once the F-16 arrive. There is no way Ukraine show. I don't see Ukraine agreeing to any such timeout until they have their territory back. At some point, this will be a Crimean war. It's not a good deal for the Ukrainians because they are losing all their seaports and it's going to affect their country a lot with Russian control, so they would probably want to fight on. It would be like California given up its coastline it wouldn't be much of a state without it. Next news. A 21-year-old U.S. Marine veteran died in Ukraine after taking out 12 Russians in his final stand, his family said. Business Insider U.S. Marine vet Ethan Hertwick died helping a comrade after taking out 12 Russians in his final stand. Fighting in Avdivka, his family said. Below are your comments. He made several trips to Ukraine after the war began, first to help women and children on the border with Poland, then later returning to get his combat medical license. Amazing human being. This guy sounds like a real hero. Rip and condolences to his family. Another brave you. Marine fighting for freedom has paid the ultimate price. We are all free because of young men like this Marine. May he rest in peace. Semper Fi Marine. Dot. I know there are many, many heartbreaking stories that have come from this tragedy. But this one really hit me. A young hero, dies days before he was to come home, and so close to the holiday season? That is just beyond sad. He did not need to be there but he died doing what he thought was right. Rest in peace young man. War is a Racket is a speech and a 1935 short book by Smedley D. Butler, a retired United States Marine Corps Major General and two-time Medal of Honor recipient. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.